Yeah, definitely. Um, the biggest challenge I have with um, cisgender men here is that, again, they don't necessarily see me as a man. They don't see me as an equal counterpart, basically. They see me as inferior. Yes, yes or no. Like, um, I think some of my biggest supporters have been cis women, but also some of like um, my greatest detractors have also been um, cis women. It's hard to put yourself or to be to see your, or to put yourself in a group. It's hard to have male friends, cisgender male friends out here that genuinely see you as nothing else but but male because to them, again, just like everyone else in Jamaica or most people in Jamaica, trans men are just hyper lesbians. So they will never or in my opinion, more than likely will never see you as their equal counterparts. And I think for like a lot of them, especially the ones who are feminist, they feel as if trans women are trying to own something that is theirs um, and that we're trying to own this sense of womanness that is already theirs. And they think because we have or, or we have had some form of male privilege, they think that that is something that we shouldn't have claim to or we shouldn't want to have claim to. Um, so it's a lot of mixed reactions and sometimes some women can be very cruel and they will say things. Um, but you know, I think it's just a part of the journey and the struggle. And as much as you have like a lot of women out there who are detractors, you have a lot of cis women who are supporters and who will stand behind trans women and stand behind trans people and supporters 100%.